Hello and welcome to video 2 in this mini crash course on the basics of music theory. In this video, we'll be going through the musical alphabet, the 12 keys of music, natural, sharp and flat notes, music intervals and octaves. So let's get started. What is the musical alphabet? Music is made using the musical alphabet. These are letters A, B, C, D, E, F and G. So let's move on to the 12 keys of music. Each letter of the musical alphabet can be distinguished by its own unique natural pitch, as well as their sharp or flat pitch. A sharp has a slightly higher pitch than the natural and a flat has a slightly lower pitch. Now here we have the 12 keys of music. Let's start with the A and then next we have the A sharp or B flat, then the B, then C, then C sharp or D flat, D, D sharp or E flat, E, F, F sharp or G flat, G and lastly G sharp or A flat. For example, our natural pitch of A has a flat pitch A flat and a sharp pitch A sharp and these three notes produce different sounds. So let's listen to these three from A to A flat and then A sharp. With consecutive letters of the musical alphabet, the sharp and the flat notes both represent the same pitch. However, depending on the key signature, they would be phrased differently. And key signatures we do discuss in video four. Now, as you can see, B to C and E to F are the only consecutive letters that don't have a flat or a sharp pitch. However, in certain scales, these can be phrased as a flat or a sharp pitch. So for example, the letter B can be phrased as a C flat, a C can be phrased as a B sharp, E can be phrased as an F flat, and F can be phrased as E sharp. Now notes that can be phrased differently but have the same pitch are known as enharmonic notes. So for example, A sharp and B flat are enharmonic notes, as well as C sharp and D flat. Understanding the layout of notes is best represented using a piano or a keyboard. The white keys on a piano are known as the natural notes of the alphabet and the black keys are known as the flat or sharp notes. So if we look at our piano, we have a group of five notes, C to E, and then a group of seven notes, F to B. These notes are then repeated. And as we can see, B to C and E to F don't have a black key between them because they don't have a sharp or a flat pitch even though they can be phrased that way in certain circumstances. So when we play the notes on a piano, we can hear that the pitch gets higher as we move up the keyboard and lower as we go down. So let's play all 12 keys from C up to B and then down again. Music intervals. Once we've learned all the individual notes, we need to understand how to measure them in terms of pitch. And this is where intervals come in. A music interval is the distance between each note in terms of their pitch, which is measured in semitones, also known as a half step, and whole tones, also known as a whole step, 
which is also equivalent to two semitones or two half steps. But for clarity, I'll be using the terms semitones and whole tones, just so we don't get any confusion. So here we have our piano on its side, and if we look at the bottom, if we travel from C to D, we have to go through two notes, C sharp, then to the D. Therefore, we have traveled up two semitones, or a whole tone. Our next example is E to F. Now, because we have no black key in between them, we only travel one semitone, E to the F. And lastly, we've got G to B. We have to travel up four semitones, or two whole tones, to reach from G to B. So why exactly are music intervals important? Well, they help us understand the relationship between notes and how they will sound together in terms of chords and scales. Now we do go through music scales in video three and chords in videos five and six. So don't worry if that doesn't make sense as of yet. So let's move on to octaves. As we know, there are 12 keys of music, which are constantly on a cycle, and eventually on that cycle, you will reach the same note, but at a higher or a lower pitch. Here, you have reached the octave. A note octave is the same pitch played at a higher or lower pitch. And these two notes will be 12 semitones apart. Now, my example, shows two C notes, 12 semitones apart. So let's listen how these two notes sound. So that completes video two in this mini crash course on the basics of music theory. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you did, give me a beautiful thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions at all, just leave them in the comments below. And when you're ready, click on the next video in the series where we learn about music scales.